After I created the Fall Guys with Tic Tacs, I was so looking forward to create another map piece. And then COVID came along, I got sick, so I asked Crystal to challenge me to create a map. Now I'm healthy and I'm really looking forward to what she has created. I'm so curious to see what Crystal has created. I know so many of you asked for another map and this won't be the last one because I also want, really want to create another one by myself. But as I told you in the intro, I got sick with COVID, spent one week in quarantine and this was harsh. It was a brutal time actually. I haven't expected it to be so hard because I got three times vaccinated and still had high fever. Um, I, I hope all the best to everyone who is sick right now. This really sucks. I remember my Meowskills punching COVID virus in the face video and I felt the urge to create another one, 24 ways to kill the virus. So let's focus on the Fall Guys map Crystal is creating right now. This brings so much joy to me to see how she is working on the map and how the whole challenge is progressing. It's no secret we are going to see Tiptoe and the original map has 130 square tiles in a grid, 13 times 10. And the game remembers me to the Takeshi's Castle game Skipping Stones. You may remember this amazing gaming show in the 90s, which I loved so much. I watched it all the time after coming home from school. So we have a big path formed by a big number of tiles. Some are fake, some are collidable. And guess what? You have to find out which tiles are collidable and which ones to take to make your way to get to the finishing line. Right now Crystal is coloring the fences with this beautiful yellow. I used the very same ones when I recreated DoorDash and we have also the flags, the tiny Fall Guy flags with toothpicks. I'm really happy to see them, um, created them in the same way and they make a map just look like a Fall Guys map in the end. And this is the first appearance of clay. We have lemon yellow and I assume this will also be for the fences around the map. Not really sure if I created them the same way in DoorDash, but what a beautiful way to create them with a flag right in the middle. Woo! When a player freshly baked pieces from the fence. When a player falls down uh, in this course, they restart from the starting line. I always thought this is too kind from the game. I assumed a more brutal way, like Squid Games. When you fall down, well, you're out. <laughs> so you can quickly come back and by just remembering the street which you discovered um, you can still have a pretty good chance in winning the game. Look at the tiles. They look adorable. I think we have different patterns. We have these stripes, we have some circles and also some quarter circles and these candy bars so for five different ones ah, crystal is mixing them and let's see it almost looks like memory the card game and from what i can see she's using the scalpel some of the tiles are now breakable some of them are not this will be later the street. Oh boy. This 
is so much work. I can guess this. Uh, the logo. So, we are back to clay. Um, I also did the same on the DoorDash map. I think this is the better way in creating the Fall Guys logo by using a printout. Look at the perfect circle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the letters. Mm. When playing tiptoe, there's also one mean thing. So when you have discovered a tile which is walkable and after a period of time the tile slowly turns back to its orange shade. So you better remember which one was solid <laughs> because they are changing the colors again. And I always felt this is mean. For DoorDash I think there was also a way that you could tell which doors will open and which ones are solid. It had something to do with the pattern on it, but I can't really remember it. Okay, now the logo gets a beautiful outline, and I think we're almost there. We have the finishing line with this huge bow on top of it, the colorful bow. When I asked you in the latest videos which challenge, which map from Fall Guys you would like to see, there was one which appeared the most, Hexagon. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think I will give it a try. Still not very really sure how to make this mechanism work with the hexagon, hexagonal platforms which are disappearing and falling down. I have an idea for the slime though. <laughs> so this is going into the oven as well. And these are some freshly baked parts for the map. Solid. And with the drill Crystal is preparing everything, assembling the finishing line, the finishing bow. I I could also think of a beautiful map with rotating hammers and all this movable stuff with some Lego engines. I have like three or four different Lego engines <laughs> and would really love, um, well, love it to create a gigantic movable mechanism which no one really understands. But in the end we will just push our fall guys through. Yeah, this was the hot glue gun with some hot glue sauce. <laughs> it's still dripping. And the map is almost finished. We have some last assembling parts and the white arrows at the starting area. And the tiles are now connecting the starting point with the finishing line. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like finished. Crystal has done such an accurate work. This looks amazing. And well, what better to do than to try this out? I'm back from COVID, from quarantine after one week. I'm so curious what Crystal has created. Now you know. This is huge. Every one of us has four Fall Guys and we try to solve the riddle. Go! Crystal promised me she can't remember the right path, the right way. Let's see if this is true. Her pet is gone. It's a try and error trying to find the right way through these tiles. The dragon, the headed dragon is gone. <laughs> the imposter is gone. The chicken is cheating. You may remember that the chicken won the DoorDash and I was too eager to lose. 
together with Ezio and the pink one. They are still in the race and the pink one is winning. The pink one won the race. Here on Tiptoe, we hope you enjoyed the show. Bye. <laughs> this won't be the last Fall Guys video, so if you have any ideas, suggestions, leave them down in the comments for one of the next videos. Stay healthy, stay creative. Bye.